for this. They weren't able to draft against this. They don't have the CC to quite pin him down. Without the Franco, without that reliable source of CC, it's going to be difficult to shut down this Fanny. And the only thing that they could do was... Man, it gets very chaotic very quickly. So let's see here again. Composition wise, it's, it is going to be very balanced. It's going to be up to the early game. No, 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 no. I mean, hero power wise, mm. but early game, it is all towards Echo. Yeah, he, he's kind of Dragon Balls. I can literally see when the camera's off, he pulls up his Dragon Balls, he power scouter. He's just like, <laughs> he's starting to set up for it. Great in the vicinity. Trying to open up the Whoa, map, but what's what? happening bot side? Sanji forced a flicker, but first blood will fall to the hands of RSG. Can they steal this one? 4v3, Nomeo Blast will not be able to connect as Call TZ will find the first turtle. Echo equalizing a kill for the At this turtle. stage of the game, I mean, he knows his matchup against Diablo is going to be heavily in his favor for the majority of it. It's a wet noodle fight, right? A throw on towards 505, and he goes down immediately. Echo with the early game potential that they have. Seems like now they are controlling the tempo. Yeah, they already have that benefit. Oh, but, oh my god, Yaoi goes in! Jack Kundo flicker connects, and we can see here an all out brawl. Call Tizi jumps in with the cable. Sanji picking up a kill. RSG retreating right now. Lozi might be next here. No commitment just yet. Echo with the intelligent engage and disengage. That must be so frustrating, right? Because RSG, they're betting on the Noomron Blast, whereas Echo, they have Yaoi to work around to initiate, but they also have that beautiful follow-up coming in from Sanji, but Diablo, he's gonna be taken down. Goodbye, Diablo. And that's, that's yeah, that's why you go. has been pressured quite a lot, but he's not that far behind in terms of that level gap, so it's very interesting to see what the items say, but uh oh Oh, he lands it! Oh my god, the taunt, the stun, everything goes and goes down. Call TZ, RSG, top, top, top. find the equalizer, particularly the top side, flicker, Ooh, pops. Hoo -hoo. My goodness, baby cakes with the one HP retreat. Okay, let's see. Conceal on towards the purple buff. Ray trying to steal that orange buff. Wave Dragon connects. Not enough damage. He says, Call Teezy with the retribution. But Call Teezy takes down Lulzy. Mines the double. No, Benny Kitty will pick up the kill. So again, Echo with the control of their jungler. That's really unfortunate like for RSG is on time to defend. Ozzy trying to open them up the map. Oh, William Dragon, Benny QT with the shurikens jumps in and call TZ to clean it off. Turtle now open 5v4 RSG. Is this the right move? Yeah, I feel like they should just let this go. Third turtle, call TZ looks to secure this. Let's see. But remember, it's Echo not having those really important util utilities in their ultimates. But here we go. Another engage coming in from Yaoi. Well, what? Baby Cakes? Baby Cakes got the turtle. He stole it. On the Just look at this lead that Echo has, right? They want to be at least 5k by this point. Aww. Way of Dragon. 3v1 Diablo caught off guard there. And it seems like Echo will find the first tier turret bot side. And now RSG, they are looking for an equalization, but what can they do? Well, you can expect that. And on paper, it should be a no as long as there's a wall. My goodness. Just the kill pressure that Call TZ brings to the table. Baby Cake still surviving that one. Let's take a look at the mid side. Ray 505 looking for a setup. Wait, but River. No comment. Oh my god, River top side. Lozi gets caught with the way of dragon and four member is technically on him. There you go. Down goes Lozi. I mean you mentioned something about RSG and like the Singapore region in general of how that oh my god, but wait a minute! Oh! Bye bye, call TZ. Bye bye, baby cakes. Now Bray trying to find look something, trying to go for the clear as Echo will not be able to seize that mid side. Still as staying relevant in the game, Gideon. For sure. I mean that's the idea. Both EXP laners are looking to gain pressure into the side lanes to kind of pull them apart for these neutral objectives. It's difficult, but now the kick comes through. Oh my god, Bray gets deleted. Newman and Blast connects onto his one here. No follow-up damage just yet. Sanji trying to find something. Benny QT in the wow. back side finds the Farsa. Benny QT will get oh. the shutdown though. And now it is going to be a 3v3. Sanji Filiker as a defense. Maybe it's in a tough situation. Oh, that Jack Kundo is big. Baby Cage though finds a double as Sanford will find the trade. Oh. At the end of the day, it's going to be 4v2. But my goodness, 
The Fanny, out of nowhere, finds the kill. Oh my god, a 4 for 2 trade and let's make it more? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, he didn't want to commit onto that. He didn't want to make that mistake. But even then, Echo still with a huge... Let's see who is going to be able to take it as Echo seems to have the better setup for now. They're trying to bait out information with the whereabouts of RSG members. I remember it's going up here. Rosie trying to face check. Way of Dragon. Benny QT, take a look at the damage. And Sanford will confirm the kill. Sanford will retreat as they are confirmed. 5v4. So they should see, take. It's three. Wow. Actually, a lot of gold. And Baby Cakes is actually trying to keep up, uh, keeping up with Benny QT despite him having three full kills on his side and also an outrageous laning phase. 505 is in trouble. Oh my god. Fear find nothing matters. Call TZ will find the kill. Diablo finds a three man petrify here in the backside. Sanji goes down. Diablo taking a lot of damage here. Can he survive? But Sanford in the backside deals a lot of damage as well. Oh! Wow. Sanford with that barrier. What the heck, Echo? They are just running everything full throttle. I they mean, have so much kill. Here we go. The fight for the Lord. Numidum Blast from Valentina finds Bray. No fall of damage just yet, but Lozi here will not find the right connection as well. RSG, they are resetting here. 13,000 oh. HP. They need to make a choice right now. I mean, the, the minions are pushing in into their base. They're going to get back to it by Call of Teasy if they don't choose now. Oh my god, oh my god, Call of Teasy. Will they read this? Junpo trying to delay, but no, my god. 505 trying to fly. Sanford, Yowie goes down, but Call of oh Teasy my in the back oh my side. Daddy QT, the base, the base. Echo outplayed RSG. Echo remains undefeated. Secured with a beautiful, beautiful split push by Betty QT as well as Carl TZ. Congratulations, the Philippines. Very unfortunate for RSG SG in that moment, but.